Hello everyone, this video will explain to you how to search over annotated texts in your annotation project in Inception. We will examine how to do basic text queries, how to do semantic queries over entity mentions that are linked to a knowledge base and how to exploit the structure of the knowledge base in the query. Inception uses the multi-tier annotation search framework to index the text and annotations. This framework implements a query language very similar to the CQL language you might already know from corpus managers such as the Open Corpus Workbench or Manti. We imagine a person who is interested in annotation mentions of wines from different regions and has linked these mentions to a wine ontology. For this task, we use the wine ontology which is provided as an example of an owl ontology by the World Wide Web Consortium. If you want to know more about the entity linking support in Inception, we have a separate video for that. We start with a simple type of query, a simple text query. The search functionality is accessible from the search sidebar on the annotation page and allows you to search over all documents in the current project. Mind that you can only search over documents that are accessible to you and you can only search over your own annotations. Suppose you want to search for the word Sotin in order to annotate all of its mentions. Just type in and you will get results grouped by the documents in which they occur. For each match, a few words of left and right context are shown. Clicking on the results focuses the main annotation view on document and position of the match and highlights it briefly. You can also create new annotations from your results by selecting them in the result list, selecting an annotation whose values you want to adapt and clicking create annotations. Queries for annotations are formulated using the layer name. So using named entity, we can find all named entity annotations. It is also possible to restrict the search to annotations with a specific feature value. So for example, using named entity with the value location, we can find all named entities that are locations. Next, we take a look at how to query for entity mentions that are linked to a knowledge base and how the class hierarchy of the knowledge base is accessed in the query. For example, in the wine ontology, we see that Sotin is a subtype of the Bordeaux wines and Chateau de Chem is an instance of the Sotin wines. These subtype and instance of relationships are what we can exploit in semantic queries. So when we search for a named entity with the identifier Bordeaux, the system presents us with the mentions of Bordeaux wines, including any subtypes. That means we also get results for linked mentions of Sotin and Chateau de Chem. However, we can restrict the query to return only mentions of an exact knowledge base item excluding subtypes. In order to do that, we add the modifier exact to the query. Named entity with the identifier exact Sotin. Note that in the two queries we just performed, we accessed only annotations from the named entity layer. But what if we have multiple annotation layers that can link to the same knowledge base items and we want to retrieve all mentions of a certain item across all layers? This is possible by using the generic term KB entity instead of the layer name in the query. KB entity equals Sotin. Now, finally, let's have a look at a complex query. Let's imagine our text makes certain statements about wines, for example, regarding their taste. Assume we have created a custom span layer called claim that we have used to annotate such sentences. Now, in order to decide if we should buy a Burgundy or Bordeaux wine for dinner, we want to know which of them is considered more delicious. To figure this out, we search for claims that contain either the mention of a Burgundy or Bordeaux wine and that also mention the word delicious, deliciousness in similar forms. This brings us to the end of your video. 
In the last few minutes, we have introduced you to the powerful search capabilities offered in Inception. We also gave you a glimpse of the entity linking and knowledge base support offered by the platform. For more information, please refer to our video on entity linking. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more videos on Inception on our channel. Please hit the subscribe button to receive updates when we publish new videos introducing new exciting functionalities, use cases, news or other updates.